Our journey into the evolution of visual effects begins in the 1970s. A decade that saw the end of the Vietnam War, the birth of the personal computer, distinctive fashion trends and flourishing music genres from punk to disco. But in the world of film, technological advances were being made that would change the way films are produced for the next 50 years and beyond. The digital age for visual effects can be traced back to the early 1970s when we saw the first significant use of CGI in a feature-length film. Michael Crichton's Westworld, released in 1973, used pixelated motion photography to depict the vision of an android. John Whitney Jr. and Gary Demos working at Information International Inc., aka Triple I, were given the task of creating these shots. After the film's success, they were hired again to employ digital compositing techniques in the film's sequel Future World, released in 1976. Their contributions were honored in 1994 with a Scientific and Engineering Academy Award. A few years later in 1977, Star Wars showed us one of the first examples of 3D CGI in the form of a wireframe rather than shaded imagery. Larry Cuba from Electronic Visualization Library at the University of Illinois created a 3D wireframe of the trench on the Death Star which was used to train rebel pilots. The 1980s saw major advancements in the use of CGI with films like Tron, released in 1982, using computer-generated environments, something that had not been seen before in a big feature film. Fast forwards a few years to 1989 where James Cameron's The Abyss would lead to a major breakthrough in CGI. The Abyss saw the first photo real character appear on our screens made solely through the use of CGI. The pseudopod was created by Industrial Light and Magic, otherwise known as ILM. Referred to as the Water Weenie, ILM designed a program to produce surface waves of differing sizes and kinetic properties. This created the flowing water-like creature that we see in the film. The early 1990s saw the release of Steven Spielberg's Jurassic Park. Released in 1993, it set a landmark in visual effects with its groundbreaking use of CGI dinosaurs. ILM created a tool called ViewPaint which allowed artists to paint textures directly onto 3D models, making the texturing process a lot easier compared to traditional methods. A nighttime T-Rex attack and a Gallimimus stampede are just a couple of CGI highlights from Jurassic Park. The film would go on to win an Academy Award for Best Visual Effects. Coming towards the end of the century, the film industry had one more VFX spectacle in store. The Matrix, released in 1999, brought an effect that we know as bullet time into the mainstream, seamlessly integrating practical and digital effects. A rig made up of 120 still cameras set off one after the other by a fraction of a second allowed the view of the audience to be transported around a character, whilst also allowing for a super slow motion effect. The positioning of the cameras on the rig was determined by a 3D simulation and it became one of the most memorable shots in the film. In the 2000s, films such as James Cameron's Avatar pushed the boundaries of realism using motion capture technology. With the use of facial cameras, HD reference cameras and automatic facial replacement, actors were able to play the role of a fantasy character without the use of heavy makeup or costumes. Yes. Why save? Cameron is quoted as saying, I was on a quest for the Holy Grail, to be able to produce full human emotion in a CG character while avoiding the dead eye effect the strange disconnect that we sometimes have from CG characters. In post-production, digital artists added ear and tail movement to indicate fear, anger, sadness or aggression. In the modern era, visual effects in film have reached new heights fueled by the continuous technological innovations that we see day to day. 
Advancements in computer graphics, rendering and new cutting-edge software have empowered filmmakers to bring fictional worlds to life with unparalleled realism. The Marvel Cinematic Universe, a juggernaut of the modern film industry, is a prime example to show off how far visual effects has evolved in just the last 50 years. From Iron Man in 2008 to Multiverse of Madness released in 2022, Marvel's films are full of visual effects and are pulled off to incredibly high standards that have set a clear benchmark for the rest of the film industry. Flawlessly blending live action with digital effects, Marvel has created some of the most iconic superhero movies of all time. In more recent years, the surge in the use of AI has inevitably made its impact in the film industry and has started to become an integral part of the visual effects pipeline. One of the most notable applications of AI is de-aging technology which has been seen in films such as Martin Scorsese's The Irishman. Released in 2019, the film takes place between the years 1949 to 2000. To maintain authenticity and not use similar-looking younger actors, ILM created a three-camera rig made up of one main camera and two witness cameras that shot the scene in infrared to eliminate any shadows making it easier to apply tracking points to the actors' faces. With the de-aging process being entirely digital, it allowed icons such as Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci and Al Pacino to act freely without the distraction of a facial camera attached to their head. The actors' extensive film catalogues were used to recreate faces for each year that they appeared in the film. The artists had over 1,700 shots to create using the wide variety of faces that they had produced to make the actors appear younger. In summary, the journey of visual effects in the digital age is inspiring, marked by continuous innovation from the early days of CGI in the 1970s to the lifelike effects we see today. Visual effects has significantly transformed the ways in which we can create content for films and television. The success of visual effects in the digital age is driven by the collaboration between artists, technicians and engineers. As hardware and software tools continue to evolve, there's boundless potential for even more immersive and groundbreaking visual experiences.